What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to change the pitch of someone's voice inside Premiere Pro. So I have an audio track in my timeline here and I'll just play it back so you can see why I have. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the pitch of someone's voice inside Premiere Pro. So what I'm going to be doing is when I say pitch of someone's voice, I'm going to change the actual pitch of it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So first I'm going to make my cuts on the timeline. Guys, how to change the so I'm just gonna take my razor tool, make a cut of someone's voice, make another cut inside Premiere Pro, and then we're gonna be adding the pitch shifter to this clip. So that is the effect that we're gonna add, and that is gonna be the effect that generates the pitch shift the shiftiness per se. The other thing that we'll want to do is set in and out points and have it loop while we try to determine the best pitch for our voice here. So what I'm going to do is actually move my playhead back a little bit, hit I on my keyboard, go forward, hit O on my keyboard, and then I'm going to enable loop, which is this button here. If you don't see this, click and hold down the plus button in the program window, and then you can easily just click and drag this icon right into your timeline here or in your uh, tools bar, tool menu. And then you'll sh you should be able to see it and enable it. But basically, when we play this back, it'll play on loop. Change the pitch of someone's voice inside. Change the inside. And that will enable you to be able to really fine tune the pitch that you're looking for. So next, let's edit the pitch shifter effect. We'll click on edit. And a few things to understand here. The very first thing, just make sure under precision that it says high precision. Precision, and just make sure that this box that says use appropriate default settings is checked as well. That'll just make sure it's sounding its best, you know, once you start messing with the actual pitch. Now you can choose from a few defaults. So angry gerbil is obviously a high pitch voice and then deathly ill stretch in the broken war is, uh, you know, deeper sound effects or sound pitches. But what I'm gonna show you is how to do it manually. So you got two options. The first one's semitones and the next one's sense. So semitones, semi semitone, semitone. I, I can't, I don't know off the top of my head how you pronounce it. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And when you drag it to the left, it will deepen your voice. And when you drag it to the right, it will increase your voice. And for sense, this is to fine tune it. So say if we increase it, and we want to make my voice sound like a like a gerbil or a hamster. If someone's voice inside, change the inside. You can fine tune it by adjusting this. Basically, there's a hundred cents in a semitone. So you know you can think of this as like you know five and fifteen here. As you add more, you know when you go to a hundred, that's essentially one semitone. So if we wanted to do a deeper voice, what we can do is play this back. If someone's voice inside, change the inside. Inside, change the voice 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 inside. So that sounds pretty good. And there you go, guys. That is how to change the pitch of someone's voice inside Premiere Pro. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you want to learn a little bit more about dialogue audio, how to really make it sound really good, I'll link a tutorial up here. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.